Okay, so what is once again up everybody on YouTube, Tupo the Gaming HD coming through and you with yet again another video like this Thursday evening. So right here we're back again with some showcasing of the new mods that we actually got today, the 14th of February 2019 in the game of Bumsman 2019. It is pretty cool and I think definitely we're gonna go ahead and just get straight into it because it's pretty cool. So let's get into mods right here and you can see right here I already went to latest. In my latest video I kind of showed you this video about the more tree mod where you can actually place your threes and stuff like that wherever you want to go ahead and do it. So it's pretty cool actually and uh, I do think it is something that I'm gonna play a lot with throughout the gameplay right here in the game. So yeah, but we do also have like four other mods. We for example have this uh, cutter trailer. I'm not gonna pay that much attention to that obviously. We have a lizard high force fork. I don't think either that I'm gonna place, uh, kind of pay that much attention to that either but uh, it, it is not like groundbreaking uh, uh, mods, I don't think so, so uh, yeah, I still think it's pretty cool to just get like into it and do different kind of things. So we have to go ahead and uh, download the MT900 right here, and this one right here, and yeah, we can also take the high force fork. And also to place it with grand decals. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it out. So the Challenger MT 900E Field Anaconda is basically this kind of tractor, the series with the Anaconda graphics on it. I don't know why Giants actually put out these tractors with different kind of graphic graphics on it. We got the cow graphic, and now we got the Anaconda graphic. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I, th I guess. But I don't know why they do it. The price on this is 435,000 on a standard version. The power is 536 to 600. 46 horses under the hood. We have a maximum speed on 40 kilometers per hour, which is pretty cool. We do also have the new Orca wagon from Bergman right here. We have a capacity on 43,000 liters, which is pretty much a lot. The price on this is 87,000 euros standard, so that's kind of like as it is. Then we have the high force fork. The price on this is 1200 euros, maintains at 5 euros a day. And also the placeable ground right here from Rival, which is the mod creator. It is in damage and pollution decals, which can actually be placed to make the ground look more real. It should only be placed on flat terrain, so if you want to kind of put some scratches on your asphalt, you can go ahead and do it with this mod, which is also dope enough. So we got these like downloaded, so I think it is time to get into the safe game and actually showcase them to ya. Deselect all, select all, and let's start it up. So while we are waiting right here for the game to load, I definitely think that you actually have the opportunity to go ahead and smash the freaking thumbs up for the creators right here in the game of Final Fantasy 2019. I think it's really cool that we actually get new mods. Um, it's actually a lot of time or a lot of periods when we do get new mods. So I think it is cool that we got them these, this this Thursday right here. It, it, it is pretty freaking amazing. So hit the thumbs up. Let's go ahead and see if we can get 100 likes for this video, which I surely hope we can. And also make sure to subscribe to Tubers Gaming HD if you haven't done that yet. We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers, which is our huge goal before 2020, the year of 2020, which is only like 10 months away. So we're only in a bit of a hurry actually, but uh, I think we're gonna make it. I surely hope so. So hit the subscribe button under the video and also put on the post notification bell, which is this little bell that is on your screen right now or should be. Uh, it's okay. So we're in the game right here. We're in the map where I'm going to showcase you guys these new mods. We're going to go ahead and take the big 900E Anaconda, which is right here. Going to go ahead and just take a standard one, all standard. You can also put some more power on it, like four. 646 you can put twin wheels triple wheels you can do whatever you want triple wheels is pretty heavy so that's cool enough then we got over here in tools we do have the orca wagons and i think that the berkman is actually the biggest one that we do have no the hallmaster is 70,000 liters the berkman is only 43,000. i don't even know how we can get so much in the hallmaster right there but it is huge so we're gonna go ahead and take this completely standard at this because it's just as it is. So also we do have something from the front loaders in here, which I'm gonna go ahead and find right now. I think it is like um, right here, I think maybe. I don't know, uh, no it's not. What about in here maybe? Nope, 
What about in here maybe? Four wheel loaders. The pallet fork from Lizard, is that the one? I think it is the one. Uh, not quite sure. Telehandlers maybe? Just gonna check it out right here. Bale fork. Uh, is it actually a mud, this one? It is a mud. I think it is actually the one. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we do have it right here lined up. It, it is looking quite cool. Uh, the Challenger right there, the MT900E right there with the with the, the, the snake on it, like the Anaconda. Ain't no Anaconda boy, ain't no Anaconda. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that song, but it is like looking quite dope, I think, um, <coughs> without any questions on this. But uh, the decals or kind of like the graphics on it is pretty, pretty nice, pretty cool, well set together, I guess. And uh, just dope in general, and um, yeah, I think definitely it is something that we should, uh, yeah, sh should probably go ahead and play with because it is like dope enough. So that is like really cool right here, but I think definitely we should have to get into the anaconda right here. I know that you should probably not get into the mouth of an anaconda because it is one of the deadliest snakes out there in the world. So um, it's pretty amazing to, to see that we got it on the tractor right here. I don't think that we should actually use like these, um, these connected or uh, half linked uh, tractors with orc wagons but it's because it's like really close really kind of like hard to to go ahead and drive it you can see right here it actually turns the end and uh, it's more easy when it is basically just the front wheels that is gonna turn uh, of course and oh Jesus oh Jesus and that is of course my opinion but I guess it is like the most simple thing but the Berkman Orca Wagon right here is probably one of the best looking Orca Wagons that is in the game at the moment, I have to say. I think it will actually suit perfectly with a, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say, but a Fint 1050 or some 1050 or 939, uh, like the green color tractors, it will fit like pretty freaking amazing. And the Berkman right here is also like the perfect size. We can probably just, I'm just gonna show you guys something. The Orca Wagons, we're gonna go ahead and take the Hallmaster. We want it to be a configuration. That's 70,000 liters right here. Uh, you can see the Hallmaster is just, I, I, I guess why or how? The Beckman looks pretty much bigger, doesn't it? It looks a lot bigger, but it can carry one. This this one right here can carry almost like double up. So I'm like, what the heck did actually go wrong right here? Yeah, the Beckman can actually only carry like 40, 43,000. The other one can carry 70,000. So it's like double up the size, but the Beckman looks quite bigger than the Hallmaster. Uh, or is it just me? I know that the Hallmaster is kind of like wider, but still, it looks pretty pretty even actually. It looks pretty freaking even. I would actually have guessed if this was in real life, the Bergman is quite as big as the Hallmaster. But of course, this is just a game, so that might be the reason. But I guess again, or I say again, if this was real life, I think that the Bergman is probably one of the biggest ones, so yeah, uh, I think that's okay. So uh, with those kind of things right here, I want to uh, kind of like, uh, see or I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. Is it some good looking stuff or is it just pretty pretty bad? Does it suck? Are you going to play with the Anaconda, Anaconda, Anaconda tractor or are you not going to play with it? Let me know in the comment section down under. Also, another thing is that before we end this video, you should definitely hit the thumbs up if you're gonna play with it, and if you just think it is looking great in general. Uh, before we also kind of end it again, you should definitely also um, kind of like what can you say? Uh, subscribe to this channel, as I said in the beginning of the video, to help us get to those 100,000 subscribers, which is uh, one of our goals. So uh, please hit the subscribe button under the video. Also put on this 
post notification bell to get notification every time we are uploading videos. That would be pretty freaking good. Once again, I just want to say thanks for watching and thanks for coming through. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up before we end it. And also leave a comment down under. Let me know what you think about this mod. And then we're going to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.